Hi, greetings, greetings, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear friends, and how are you today? Whew, got to take a breath. Um, today's practice, I'm still stuck in myself with the whole emotion surrounding George Floyd's um, killing, murder. I've been talking to lots of friends about it, and we all feel a range of emotions, grief, sadness, anger, despair, it's like a grief yeah. and I know that when I lost my brother um, I was, the feelings that I'm feeling right about now it's triggered up and brought lots of those feelings back to the surface so when I go back to my practice back to my tools the basic tools of meditation and mindfulness and my breath the practice I'm doing at the moment is whenever I feel this anger or the sadness um, I notice I'm aware of the thoughts I'm thinking and then I take a step back and I just start to think where do I feel that emotion in my body and this comes with practice but I'm sure most of us can feel pains or something in our stomach I know for myself when I feel the sadness I look at people being killed and I look what's going on I feel that in my heart I really feel that in my heart and then when I feel the anger that's like in the solar plexus yeah that kind of like this tight grip of my stomach and then I have to really be present there's no point trying to ignore the pain or coming back to my breath straight away I've learned through the practice we call it sitting with the emotions, sitting with the thought. So I just sit with that feeling. I come in, I notice it. Oh, I feel that in my pit of my stomach. Oh, what does it feel like? It feels oh, tight, like someone's wringing a, a wet rag. Has it got a colour? It just feels all speckled and all speckled and full of holes gaping big holes and then I just sit with that feeling I don't push it away I just acknowledge it I just sit with it anger holes pain and sometimes I just literally label what I'm feeling <laughs> sadness and by taking the by naming the emotion and feeling the feelings in the body maybe it be a pain in your neck or your shoulder or your fingers might feel tense or your jaw might feel tense taking time just to tune in check in be aware of what you're feeling in your body over time with practice especially when you're not formally meditating that helps to the charge starts to go you just learn really simple tools that you know that it will pass you know that by acknowledging your feeling, the sadness, the anger, the despair, the despondency, the hatred, if there's hatred there, whatever you're feeling, you just literally, it, it's uncomfortable. It really is uncomfortable sitting with your feelings. And it's so much nicer to what I call that sort of spiritual bypass. Say, oh, it's all love and light, it'll pass, it's all good. It's not all good. Well, it is all good, but it's not all good at the same time. Pain is pain, and we don't, get rid of the pain by blanking it. We we develop that compassionate attitude, that sense of being kind and gentle to yourself. So rather than acknowledge so rather than sort of beat it in the past, I'd have beaten myself up and said, Oh, you know better than that, you know whatever, you know better. Stop it. Behave yourself, get over it. Now I just sit with that pain. I just sit with it and I just sometimes I might have a conversation with the pain. Come, what's going on? What are you telling me? What am I not listening to? What what is going on here? Because pain, that's the body's way of communicating. You know, the body's always trying to get back into this place of balance, equilibrium, but we're so caught up in our head, we're so full of the ego, we're so full of trying to get our point across, make sure people hear us. That um we don't listen, we don't take time to step back, to come back into the body. And it's when we do, that's when we get the pain often, that's when we really notice the pain, that's the body telling us, stop, what's going on, listen to me, what's the pain in the neck, what's causing that stomach pain? 
And it's just to listen and to acknowledge it and to be present with the pain or the feeling, the emotion, the thought. Okay, I've spoken lots. Let's do the practice. Sorry about that. So the practice, it's um, a combination of things. Naming the feeling, naming the thought. And I'm just jumping here. We're doing the practice, yet I can hear children's voices. And that thing about... Um, that thing about being present in the moment. I'm in all this pain and anger and anguish, yet there's children out there. There's a goat bleeds from the way. Life still goes on. Life still goes on and it's like, we have that choice. We can either be part of, and what we're feeling is part of life. It is part of it. Yet we can also try to acknowledge, sit with the pain, but not to let it over consume us. So it be, have you met someone who's really bitter? They bear the grudges. They're just so bitter that they can't let it go. It's having a grip on them. Yeah, that's that's what will happen when we that tight grip. We don't learn to let go, to let it be, to acknowledge it when it comes. Like, oh my God, I'm triggered again. What's going on? Oh yeah, that triggered me. Maybe I can just sit with this pain for a bit longer. Oh my gosh. Feel it in my jaw. Where are you feeling your pain, your tension, your anguish? Name it where you're feeling it. I can sense tension in my fingers. I'm gripping, I'm literally gripping my hands, trying to keep control. But just soften. Just whether you're feeling that angst, that pain, the tension, use your breath and invite a sense of softness, light. <sighs> Breathe into it. And sometimes it hurts to go to the source of the pain. So just breathe around the area. Just, you know, don't go right down the... You know, breathe softness around the area that's causing you the pain. Let it fluffy clouds. Maybe you're sitting here feeling that pain. You, it brings up memories of other times when you felt like this. And you and you think, what is going on? I thought I dealt with that. But no, we, it's just another layer, another level. We're human. It's an opportunity to say, oh yeah, this new practice, this mindfulness practice, it says I can be kind and compassionate to my thoughts. Okay, let me try that. Not to lose. So how do I be kind? Yeah, being kind, she said, just to um, acknowledge the pain, the colour, or whatever. Let me do that. Make it a game. Play with it. Oh, smile. Listen to the children playing. You know, if you've given birth to a child, you've had labour pains, you've had a very difficult, troublesome pregnancy, birth, you'll know you'll get those tight contractions when it feels like, oh my God, but they pass. It will pass. And that's one of the, the blessings, the teachings, um, it will pass. Everything, it too will pass. It too will pass. This pain, this anger, rubbing it away place your hand wherever you may feel your pain your anguish your sadness your despair just put your hand there maybe rub your palms together sending love from your heart to your hands feel that ooh, tingling energy and find oh i've got pain in my shoulder now <laughs> So it's floating around the body, it's finding a way out, it's finding a way out. So where are you feeling your pain? Why has come back to my stomach? I feel like playing tag. Let it flow. Let it flow. So 
see if you can let your anchor, the breath, come to the forefront. See if you can find a way to exhale, lengthy exhalation. Thank you for sitting with me. Thank you for helping me ease my pain. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew. Then I invite you just to be still. If you can, find a way to bring Pull your energy back to your heart, bring it back, bring back the calm, the serenity, the strength, the integrity from pain, acknowledge the lesson, listen again to the lesson that you need to. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, so I didn't mean to, I don't apologise. Um, so that's moving away there for my thoughts. That was my process. And if you're feeling any kind of pain, something triggers you, and the more, it's about being aware, the more aware you are of what triggers you, what's going on in your body, the easier it comes for you to rein it back in, to sit with that feeling, acknowledge it, sit, cry it out, yell it out, shout it out, thump the cushion, find a way to exhale, let it go, to sit with it, knowing that it too will pass, and if it gets too unbearable, then just let it go, say, I'll tend to you tomorrow, so let's put a lid on it, do something that's pleasant, more enjoyable, and when you feel stronger in a more supportive environment, ask for help, sit with the pain, acknowledge what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. And as usual, always, always give yourself a big hug. Oh, big self-love hug. Thank your mind, your body, your breath, your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, all your friends and family, loved ones. Just thank them for the seen and unseen forces who guide us and uplift us and keep